God has given Adam a law, a law that is written on his heart. And then he's given him this specific precept about the tree in the midst of the garden from which he must not eat. And he binds him to perfect and perpetual obedience to this command. And he gives him a warning as to what will happen if he breaks this command. That if he breaks this command and if he eats of the tree from which he's been commanded not to eat, that death will be the consequence. And it is incredibly important for us to understand that right before God gives us instructions about manhood and womanhood and marriage, God lays out his law so that we understand the way things work. And that is that God is the sovereign creator of the world and everything in it. And as the sovereign creator of the world and everything in it, God tells us what things are and how things are to be. God is the one who creates and defines humanity. God is the one who creates and defines manhood and womanhood. God is the one who tells us what is a man and what is a woman. He doesn't ask us that question, nor does he give us leeway in that area. But God hath said, and the consequences here are significant because God says in, in the day that you eat of this, you, you will surely die. In the day that you eat of this, you will bring death as a consequence of your eating. And there is a reality to this in the sense that physical death comes to Adam because of the eating, but there is another kind of death that is brought. The spiritual death. This death that separates man from God. And it is this death, this spiritual death, that actually makes man ignore the command. It is this spiritual death that makes man ignore the fact that God hath spoken that God hath given us a law and that we are bound by that law. It is this spiritual death that causes man to rebel against God in the very definition of what it means to be man made in the image of God. 